Hi, this is just a quick overview of the main features of the ProRoot H685, H820. Uh, so we've got the router connected to our laptop. Uh, we can connect to the router web interface using 192.168.8.1. And the default username is admin and the password is admin. So what you're going to need to do is change that. So we're just going to give this... A quick password for now. Now what we can do is we can put our APN setting in. So for this one we've got a fixed IP SIM card with an APN of VPN. If you've got a username and password then change that to PAP, put your username and password in. And if you want to change your IP address of your router, let's say you want to change it to 192.168.1.1, we're going to put that in there. And this is for your Wi-Fi. So you can see here the default Wi-Fi password is M2M router 168, three exclamation marks. We're just going to change that to test one, two, three, four. Just an example there. Okay, so using the setup wizard, remember we've changed our password and we've also changed the IP address of the router. So in order to log back into this router now, we would need to uh, wait for that router to reboot. which takes about a minute. So I'm just going to pause this video while we do that. Okay, so you can see now we're connected on 192.168.1.1. Username is admin. Password is test1234. If you just put a password in and you forget it and you can't log in at this stage, uh, then that's because you've changed the password. So you would need to factory reset it. So you can see we're logged in now. We're connected on EE. So this is the important thing to look for. Uh, the first thing is on your actual router, if the cell light is always on, that means it's connected to the internet. So we can see that logged in on the status page, on the overview. We're up. We've got our IP address back from the network. We can see here what network we're connected to. So this is a roaming SIM. So this is connected to EE. We can see our connection type, so LTE, that's 4G. And we can see the cell ID and the band. So that's confirmation that we've got a, an internet connection. Now, if you haven't got an internet connection and you wanna just check your APN, that would be under network and mobile. And you can see here, this is where your APN is. The next most common thing is to, especially when using a fixed IP SIM card, is to configure port forwarding. So we go to firewall here. Now, a lot of CCTV installers will actually uh, port forward uh, port 80. So before we do that, what I'm going to show you is if we go to security, you can see here remote access is set to port 80. So we're just going to change that. We're going to change that to port 81. We're allowing access from the WAN, so over the internet. So we're just going to save that. And because we've saved that, all HTTP access is now on port 81.
So you can see here now we've got colon 81. So all the web access is via port 81. Admin, test one, two, three, four. So again, network and firewall. Now we can configure those port forwards. So we can uh, CCTV NVR. So external port 80 goes to internal IP address 192.168.1.100. And internal port 80, we're going to add that. And you can see that rule is now added there. We're going to add our other rules. And once that's completed, we save and apply. And then as long as the device here is configured, uh, so it would have a LAN IP address of 192.168.1.100, subnet of 255.255.255.0. And importantly, the default gateway on your device connected to the router, in this case an NVR, the default gateway would be 192.168.1.1. That way your NVR, in this case, knows how to get back out to the internet and port forwarding will work. If you don't have the default gateway correctly configured in your device, port forwarding usually won't work. The next thing we can look at is Wi-Fi. So again, we can see the Wi-Fi here and you can see the SSID. We can simply edit that. We can give the Wi-Fi a different SSID and again we can go into security and we can change the password there. If you remember we changed that using the setup wizard. So now if we check we can see CCTV Wi-Fi there. We're going to connect There's the password we configured it for in the startup. And we're now connected to Wi-Fi and we can see that connection there. Uh, the next thing, if you're going to update the firmware, you go to system. and upgrade so you can download the latest firmware choose your file and upload your image you can also back up your configuration so basically click that it's going to download the config there's the backup there and you can then restore the config which is here so choose your file and upload it and that's going to restore your settings. You can also set the router to a daily reboot. So we can put uh, maybe 02 o'clock in the morning, 02.15. And we can also use this just to reboot the router rather than powering it off and on. Uh, this is quite an important one. This is your ping reboot. So we're going to enable it. If your SIM card has got access to the public internet, i.e. it can reach Google or it can reach Google's DNS server, then you don't need to make any changes to this. So the only thing we're going to do is enable it. We're going to reconnect it and we're going to restart router. So this is basically going to ping these IP addresses. If the router gets disconnected from the internet, i.e. it can't reach those, it will reboot and re-establish the connection. If your SIM card is on a private network and doesn't break out to the internet, then you would have to ask your SIM provider for suitable IP addresses on the private network that it can ping to ensure that it's got a connection and can reboot 
uh, if needed when disconnected from the mobile network. With the H685, because it's only got two Ethernet ports, one of those is configured as LAN and one is configured as WAN. So if we go into operation mode and we change this, wired WAN port acts as LAN, save and apply. Wait for a few minutes, the router is going to reboot and then you'll be able to use both Ethernet ports as LAN ports. So that's pretty much the basics of getting connected. That's your APN, which uh, to recap, you can just find under network and mobile. There's your APN settings. Uh, your LAN settings are here. If you need to change the IP address of your router, you can just put that in here. That's the only thing really you need to change. So you put in the IP address you want of your router, all the DHCP and everything will work. You can change to that. Uh, firewall and port forwards your security for remote access remember we've changed this to port 81 because we're port forwarding port 80 you can disable your ssh here and you can um, Also enable or disable Telnet here. As default, Telnet is disabled and SSH is enabled. So we can just disable that if we want. Again, we can see the Wi-Fi here. If you want, you can just turn that off if you're not going to use the Wi-Fi or you can edit it and you can change things like your SSID and your password and security. Again, under status, uh, if you are having issues, you can just go to system log. Refresh that. And then you can copy and paste that into an email and that will help us with our fault finding for you. On network, you can also get more information about your cellular information. We've covered the um, ping reboot here, and the sorry, the daily reboot, and also the ping reboot. So that pretty much covers. Uh, getting your H685, H820 router up and running, connected to the internet using the APN settings, setting your Wi-Fi, changing the router's IP address, and also configuring port forwarding and changing your remote access port um, and your, your router's web admin port so you can port forward port 80. So I hope that's been informative for you. Thank you.